I got introduced to drugs after I was introduced to what the show called This Body Works For Me on Show Mix. Yeah. HIV, Imkretili yeah. Industry, Liakatana, <laughs> Ipi. <laughs> Is Colin Fega still your role model? Once, twice, between twice shy. Oh, Jesidi Pipe. So, Ufunu Puma go 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 sex industry. It was hell. And we shoot. In, in the space. It is crazy. He was your sex partner. He was your sex partner. Hi everyone. My name is Hazel Mahazad and you are within. My special guest today is the one and only Samke Samke. Samke from Twitter. <laughs> Special. Ah, yeah, yeah, the one and only. <laughs> Me. Salvona Samke. Nyabilunjani. Oh, no, my Google. Samke Lissi, we. Hey, now we're funny, no, my Google. Hey, it could be San. Oh, my mother may name me after a person who is. Osolama Vecchi, imagine. Okay. And I'm a girl who just loves sex from the. Get so, yeah. I am like, yeah, contradict, I learned all imagine. Mara, you are proudly, no ma gugu sam keli si we me. That person was there inside the vagina, the was like testing, I'm like, dude, that, that's not me. Yeah. Me, I open and people fuck. I'm eh, like, shwa nye wa hubi, zeko tlaka tlaka ni. Let's, let's keep it go some gay. Mm -hmm. Some gay, some gay, some gay only fans. Mm -hmm. Some gay, the, the Twitter girl. That's me. I was cousin Avanzinawe before you became some gay only fans and some gay the Twitter girl. Who is some gay? Um well some gay is just like a shy girl from Makaya. Um was was raised by a single mother and then she went to varsity, she did her degree, she was very smart, intelligent. Um she did pure maths. Even in varsity, she had like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, baby, I'm a, 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 in, in the space, in the picture, do you know your biological dad? Mm, yeah, I do know my father, but I don't know him. Okay. Apparently, when my mother was in a relationship with him, my, my father was very abusive. So after she found out that she's pregnant, and then she was like, I'm not going to like raise a, ch a, a child with this person because he's crazy and mm. stuff. And Baba Mi was fired from the... Um, Mm -hmm. like, um, the military. military. Mm -hmm. He was in the military. And then after Lapo, they fired him because he was a drunkard too much. Abo. So when he came back home, he was that abo, abusive person towards Abandu. So my mom was like, okay, I love him, but I, mm -mm, I'm not going to raise a child with him. So, mm -hmm. so um, in 20, 2006, I found out that he was my father, but I didn't know him. Man, figa kone ka gubo, like, um, my grandfather, my grandmother's side from my father's side, um, apparently he died. So that's how I knew my family. I never saw him, mm. him once. Well, find out, Tanjan. Uh, my mother told me he, he, he just dropped dead in jail. Okay. Um, and then he died. Apparently it's witchcraft or something, mm. which is fucked up, yeah. Mm. So I've never met my father. Would you say that the, the absence of your dad has somehow led you to having daddy issues? Oh, hell no. Oh, okay. hell. I was raised by my stepfather. He was the awesomest dad ever. Like, I've never felt like Wuti, I was like, they were fatherless or something. Mm. He was there throughout. When I was two years old, he was dating my mother. He raised me as his own. Still till this day, he's still my father. Okay. Yeah. No. So I've never, I don't have daddy issues. Imagine, <laughs> I do not date men who have an affair for 40, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nyaguza, I some get we are a Ulundi, a case at in, and you are now what 26? 26. You're 26. Unenga need to, and you had Ingani Unan, ne? Yeah. Um, 
what happened? Because a lot of girls I know would say the first child is always a mistake. You mm. were either trying to have sex and the condom, the condom either burst or it slipped and then one meter um, well, when now what was your journey? Well, let me tell you something. Tell me. Okay, cool. Um, I'm in high school and then I just passed my matric. Mm -hmm. I was dating this other guy and like, about, about December, he's like, he's giving me weird vibes. I'm like, boy, I do not know. So <laughs> fuck you. And then I got to another guy. Again. So apparently, a guy is dating my sister behind my back whilst me I'm fucking him. Okay. Um, so when I was going to varsity, I found out that I was pregnant with the guy that I'm not dating, but like we were fuck buddies. So I got pregnant, Ganja. The one who was busy with your with my sister. sister. And then my sister went to a figure la pinlin wa figure what's in uh how you sam gay, a feba, wada wada wada, in gana see galo galo. Cause like I was no mutin tanana low and stuff. So yeah, I have a baby with someone that I didn't love or love. Who was in love with your sister? Who was in love with my sister. Imagine. Yeah. yeah, that was a scandal. An eighteen year old. Sam gay. So you kept the baby? Yeah, I kept the baby. Child. Okay. Why are you school? You are now 18, 19, turning 19. Mm -hmm. And then was mm -hmm. Billy. So then John was a designer. Okay. school. Okay. But like when I look back right now, it's because um I feel like I lack accountability in that relationship and I was abusive towards him because I was like emotionally abusive towards him. I was insulting him because I, I couldn't bear the thought of someone loving me back, you understand, okay. because of my trauma and stuff. Like how come a person can't love me as a person, as the way I am? So I was like making sure, get out, get out, get out. Get out. So I was pushing him You were away. pushing him away. Yeah. So in that sense, and then I got pregnant, and then we kept the baby, and then So we in a, we in good like good terms because I healed myself. I went to therapy, and then I told him, I understand what I did in that relationship, and I'm very sorry about what it ha well, what what happened That's good. in each and everything okay. and stuff. I was like, and now we're good. Our son is okay. Now co parent ZP Okay, my first child Uba. I was like, dude. Now I sacrificed my body and I wasn't alone. Mm. So take your yours. Mm. And then me now is all humble news I'm in William because I was in varsity then. And then on my second child, I was doing my third year, going for my fourth. And then I was like, Tatan Bafit, Gang Ekong Ed, Yabu. So Salakon, Salem Batalema, Botum, Lord Salakas, and then Mutal Eastern Cape. We are born in Ganza? Yeah. December, they come to me and we visit. Okay. You wanted to uh, give your baby daddy's full custody of your children. Uh, where, where are you in that process? I must just say it was content. Okay. I can never do that, Shim. I love my children. I love them. I can never do that. So was it that was, a lie? It was a huge ass lie, Shim. I don't want to lie now, okay? I don't want to lie now. But <laughs> Ten past four. <laughs> Yeah, so I no, I'm, I never went through with it, and it was just me getting about my gigs and stuff. So my children are still with me. I okay. Just know I'm a, I'm a mother. The reasons that you were giving for the adoptions, ne? Mm. Not the adoptions, the custody, the full custody mm. to the fathers. Mm. They were valid, right? Mm. You are a sex worker. You are on OnlyFans. You did not want your children to be bullied. Mm -hmm. You have kept your children. Are you not concerned that that will be a reality somewhere in the future? Um, I feel like when it comes to OnlyFans and sex work, people are getting exposed to it. Some and somehow children are going to be exposed to it. No matter I try so hard to like shy away from it, but like people are getting away with, oh shit, there is sex work, there is OnlyFans. So it's going to be reality somewhere, somehow. Mm. So why should I hide now? while somewhere in the future people are going to be exposed they have more knowledge and more information about only fans they will actually understand i'm their mother we understand so whenever there is a situation if 
a child and a parent, but like if there's communication and there's ecology and then there is a common ground, it's okay, this is what I did. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm sorry for doing this because I was doing this. You, my child, I've never shied away from you. I still love you, you understand? I'm sorry for what I put you through. Mm. And I feel like your child can always forgive me. Mm. Are you ready to have the conversation, Nenton Bazaneyako, who is your first Magagbuzuguti mama? Why when uh, utengi silum zimba? Mm. Mm. Um, and what that's if Nayeshi wants to? That's what I was saying. Which people are gonna get exposed to OnlyFans. Mm. People are who know what is OnlyFans. Mm. Yeah, but, so somehow, somehow she will understand what is in OnlyFans and why people do OnlyFans. You yeah, understand? Mm. Hopefully by that time, me na as usam I will make a change. Which people must get work. People, when they go to varsity, men, they after varsity, after they get a degree, they have to get a job because that's my sole purpose. Yeah, well, I don't want to be people to be exposed to like um, OnlyFans and porn, porn industry just because they don't have a job. Mina, as you say, I went to the industry because I knew for a fact I just love doing it, not because I was forced into it. I had a degree, you understand? I could have just told you. You have a degree. Had that time. Mm -hmm. had, that time mm. okay i have a degree but mm. like i chose which i do not want to use it but let me just use it right now but now i feel like people are being exposed more to the industry as if not now there are no jobs you understand so this is the easiest like easiest way to get into that's what i'm trying to fight for because mm. As much as we do sex work, but I am some gay, I did sex work because I wanted it. I, I want to, and I, I enjoyed it, not because I was forced into it, mm. you understand? Mm. So that's my sole purpose, I, G. Mm. Because now I feel like people are diverting from the whole point and the whole purpose of the sex industry. Now people just want to make content out of it. Not to go bubble, but shit. Like, there's actually risk and the amount of regulations and whatever behind sex work. Mm. It's just not J flowers and ban, 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 ban. Mm. It's, there's so many things, the amount factors that are affecting, like young people, you understand? Mm. So why are we keeping influencing them? Mm. Yeah, well. mm. So if I'm some gay and I'm influencing someone, rather influence them was I know it's okay. Samge has a degree. Nabo. She did it only fans because of her choice, not because I can in Diana being in Ians are like another choice or something. You understand? Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm just trying to make sense of the choice that led you into it was easy sex money. work. It was easy money. How much money were you making, Samge? as much as money as I am in teaching degree. Would you ever go back to teaching? So you qualified, let's go back. You qualified as a, a as an educator. I do. And you said, I in education. Thing is, I'm afraid of the red, red race. The okay. matrix. Yeah. There is some game or some game and then some game of the matrix. I do, I do not want to be in the red race. Yeah, but where I chase, it's okay, every month and I need to have money, this stipend. Because as you say, okay, you grow as a person, right? When you grow, you need different things in life. So how can you grow and have a constant income? Mm -hmm. There's no such thing. Mm -hmm. Because some, somehow I'm going to have, a, I, I will want a BMW, mm -hmm. I will want a bigger house. Mm -hmm. How will I afford it with a constant income. Mm -hmm. Me and also I'm getting one so hustle. I want to be the person who's like, I bought everything that I have in cash. So my children will never, ever, ever have to suffer. Mm -hmm. You understand? If today I lose a job, there's no such thing as oh, hi Montaco is being told Montaco is no mm. because why everything I paid everything in cash mm. because of what I want to escape the matrix. I want to live my life for me. Mm. Oh where do you see yourself in the next uh, 10 years in Jengo ba uskethele ugu ba gule industry? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I see myself in a big mansion and a car and then retired at 35. Because... Retired from... Retired from everything. Okay. Because I've understood the whole concept of life. There is no such thing as chasing the rich. 
You understand? Because when you chase the rich, you are actually, you are satisfying what your ego, right? Because whatever money that you get, it's not for you. It's you for who to impress about not for yourself. So basically, it's just you, your friends, your family, food, shelter, water, and then mm-hmm. Because that's the thing in to me, as you say, it makes me happy. Mm-hmm. Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. Because you get clap in in the spend the money in the spend about a thousand, but money, two hundred thousand to what to impress people that I don't even know who don't even fucking care about me. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. So that's what I want to shy away from. I just want to retire and like have a big mansion. It's like Nikaya, Nyaz Guti, I have like, what is this thing? In gold or something. And when it comes to my kids, I know I will just take insurance. Life insurance, mm-hmm. as when I die, they get like about my four million or whatever. Mm-hmm. What's your relationship like with your mother right now? It's... Because you said that on face value, and I know my work on me right, but parrot, con is into a single right. No, my mom is a person who doesn't want to talk. She's a person who's like a victim in each and every situation. So I've distanced myself from her because I feel like I can never save everyone. You know? Because I've told her, it's okay, this is how you heal. Because I know each and every trauma that you have. So in order for you to be a better person for your son, for me, is if you heal your childhood traumas and your trauma as a person, as an adult, so that you can be a better person. So she chooses to stick into that trauma or pain. She's like holding on to it because I don't know, married, like she's holding it to dear life. I'm like, nah fam, I'm good. Because my and I know the vision, I know who you are, but like you don't want to see yourself through me. So what is the point? So that's why I'm like, Sekaya, because after everything went down, I went back home. She was toxic and abusive, and I was like, no, fam, me not job because I'm busy being like, as I'm busy being close. Let me just go back to job and then I'm here. Mm-hmm. Then now our relationship is kind of okay because we are far apart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are some of the traumas and abuses that you went through so, at the hands of your mother? So my mom is, was a single mother who lost her mother when she was two years old. She was raised by people who were abusive towards her. You understand? Because they were like, when I was... What, umdeni, so umdeni, I'm a relative. Yeah, umdeni, umre, yeah, like relative. Mm. She was raised by them. Mm. And they were like, when I was like, whatever, whatever, and stuff. But she didn't have that motherly feeling. So when she got me, she wanted to hold dear to me to a point of which I depend on her. Guti, whenever decision that I make, it's her, 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 and stuff. But at the same time, she has trauma of those people who, are, who abused her. So she's taking out all her anger on who, me. She's smothering me, and then she's abusive towards me. So how do you shy away from that situation type of, you understand? You become this fragile egg that everyone, is you must be a victim. You must be, ah, when young limas, ah, when young limas, because you do not see yourself as what, as, a, as accountable to what, to like hurting other people. Mm-hmm. Because also, whatever that you say, whatever that you do, you're also hurting other people. Mm-hmm. You understand? So that's a relationship. No, Mawak. Mm-hmm. Do you wish to see it get to in the whole, a, a healthy? She's too stubborn. She doesn't want to go to therapy. So I can think of her Hence, I was saying, but you can never save everyone. Mm-hmm. You can never save everyone. If Yana, she's still holding on to her pain, that's her. Whenever she's okay, you know, man, like, I'm okay now. I do not want to deal with this pain anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I want to start loving my kids and loving myself mm-hmm. for the amazing and the true woman that I am. Mm-hmm. Then that's when she can start healing. But if she doesn't want to, then that's her problem. And I mean, I'm still far away from her because I just want to get far away as far as possible because I do not want to associate myself with that type of person, with that type of energy. Mm. Yeah. Would you say that you're a good mother to your children? I'm not a good mother because whatever you do as a parent, you can never be a good parent. Hence, you can tell Abantu Aba by like single mothers, they are toxic. People who were raised by single fathers who were abusive, they are abusive themselves. People who were raised by um, parents, have you seen how selfish they are? 
Yabo. So it, it's it's like I'm I'm just generalizing. I'm not saying good abantu yabo. So whenever you are a parent and you raise a child, just know for a fact to go to whatever you raise, there is certain traumas that you gonna what expose your child to. Mm. Yabo. It's all about accountability and goals. Mm. Yabo. So me, I know for a fact to I'm not a good parent. But I know what I'm doing and me really, like letting Abanya Bantu Baba Kulise is the best thing for them. Because me, I'm still hustling, I'm still in my age, I still wanna explore, mm. I still wanna able, be a butterfly and like explore the world. How mm. can I if I still have like Abantu and I have to take care of them? I will kill Kabanga with him clambe in Ganzako, Zingaba exposed Guma trauma lazicon. That's what I was saying. No man have a wins on you as a parent. Your child is going to be exposed to trauma. Do you want to have children in the future? With the guy that I have, yeah. <laughs> hey, who's this guy that you have, some gay? <laughs> Yo, he's a man. He's like, ah, fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm mumping. He's, he's an amazing guy. Just neat um, and he's so cool. He's cute. Where, girl, you are gone. I am gone. <laughs> yeah, he's amazing, shape. He's amazing. Yeah. Are you healthy to be in this relationship? Dude, mm. I've never been healthy in my whole life. Therapy helps, though. Therapy helps. Therapy helps because it makes you understand. I've been saying this one: accountability. When you're in a relationship. As much as a person is hurting you, when well, what are you doing to that person in order for them to hurt you? Mm. Why are you always the victim in the relationship? Mm. Why when well, uh, they cheat him on me? Can do when I win that? You understand? Mm. Because in a relationship, you need to compromise, guys. You need to let go. Are this. you compromising with your I mother, Sam? Okay, not with no, this no, no, guy, no. with your mother. What are you doing to make your mother toxic? I... What role are you playing? All those things that you're saying about her, her, her. <laughs> When I win Zani me, for I'm that me, relationship. I'm a, me, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a child that is engaged. I question everything. Mm. So if you are in Kulisa Ganja, I have to question everything that you're saying. You understand? Mm. So that's why I'm, there is like a clash where you're in the center mm. because whenever she comes with the solution, I have to question that solution. Mm. So I ask her questions and I fool on the lane. You understand? And I understand her trauma because ever since I'm cool, I'm not going to be in the bazaar like a zone. You mm. understand? So I'm a troublesome kid, like troublesome kid. Mm. I am. I'm a fool. I'm a Muslim girl who goes to Muslim girl and then comes. I'm not going to be in the bazaar. I'm not going to be in the bazaar. You understand? No, I'm not going to be in the bazaar. I'm not going to be in the bazaar. So when you when you came to Joburg, when did you come to Joburg, and when you got here? What what was the plan? Um, I okay. There was this girl that I was my friend. Mummy is a duck bear, that bitch. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> like she came, she came for me out of nowhere. Are you from I, home? No, let me tell you. Okay. So again, okay, she approached me. It's okay. Like I can see. We're this online. Girl. Yeah, on Twitter. Okay. I can see what you're doing on Twitter and like people love you and stuff, yeah, and you're doing good for yourself. So have you tried this thing abusing your OnlyFans? Because now my content, I was selling it on WhatsApp. Yeah, and then she's like, come to OnlyFans. OnlyFans is money, what, what, and like you do, you do less of a... Sorry, what content go to WhatsApp? How did okay. that start? So basically I was in varsity yeah. and then I was dating this guy, like Indian, and then I, when I went back home, this guy was like, okay, send me something because it's like 600 kilometers away because I'm in Mtata and then you're in Ulundi. So just send me and then I'll send you the money. That time I had like 20,000 followers on Twitter. Mm. And then I was like, okay, if I can get money from this guy, I can actually get money from other people also. And then boom, that's how I started selling content. I was like, okay. Do, 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 do. And then people came to my DMs and then money, money, money. So money you stuff. advertised Uti Utengi Samanu to WhatsApp on yeah. your 20K followers on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. So after a few months, it was three months after, then Utak Beri Wang, Wang approached on my DMs and she's like, okay, you, have you tried OnlyFans wara, 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 and stuff? And then come to Joburg and like meet people. There's a bunch of fun with Colin Fega, a bunch of like you're gonna be connected, what a what a what you're gonna grow your brand, you're gonna grow as a Sam Gay, what a what a what and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, okay, cool. And then I come to Joburg, 
they're no girl now, she's like acting all weird with me. Because I mean, I'm a person who's just, I appreciate and I'm grateful whenever I buy something. I will post about it. We understand. Mm. If I buy this chair, I'm going to post it on Twitter. Everyone must know that I bought this chair in my only OnlyFans. Yeah. So she's like, hey, when are, why are you bragging? I'm like, it's my money and it's my account. You can never tell me what to say with my account. Mm. And then boom, girl, she's like, she's now they are taking me and then mm. I attacked her back because she know her secrets she told me her secrets mm. and it was all messy and I got put there was an abortion na, 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 and stuff that was the part of me like that is the part that I don't like about myself and I'm very sorry great Bernard Doug Berry for exposing your secrets that was uncool mm. cool then um, 2021 before I met with Doug Berry, which year was this? When did you come to Joburg? Okay. November. Okay. I was staying in Kempton Park. Okay. I was the trouble person, Nami. Yeah. I was toxic. Yeah. So, and then I had to move to Renberg. Man, I was in I was in this guy, so blame. You all know him. Your ex. Exactly. Yeah. We moved in together. We had shares in a restaurant and it all went downhill and then I moved out of that place and then I got my own place. So I've been on my own ever since. So in my life, we seven this out to, to move around and do all these things was from the WhatsApp porn business. Mm. Okay. And then after, before me figure, so okay, um, only fans I call it, not only fans, WhatsApp thingy, I call it May, May, June, July, August, mm. September, October. I was doing it WhatsApp. Mm. Then November, that's when I started with the OnlyFans. Mm. Hence, I met this guy who blame. Mm. November, December, January. Then it was so cool and I'm not blaming me. So when I not blame Ben Jola, we OnlyFans model. Yeah, I he was, was using encouraging him. your I career. Know, he was. I was using him. Jim. Jan, is he also in the industry? He is also in the industry. I was just a person who's Mina. You can never come into a relationship with me and I will never gain anything from it. If you are a broke motherfucker, mm. then I have to gain something from it. Mm. So I was like, okay, you are broke, then let's make content. Blame was broke. Yeah, he was. He didn't even have money, he didn't even have a job. But okay, fine, he had like the body forwards, the content. Okay. So I was using him to make content so that I can make money. All that money I made, it was not for him. Okay. He was your sex partner? He was my sex partner. Okay. I never gave him a cent. I bought everything in the house, but like mm. he didn't even get anything. Mm. So when Shav comes to Uban, when, what is Push the, comes Push to Shav. comes to Shav, yes. Mm. I took everything. Mm. Your business was doing well. Mm -hmm. You had a very nice place in, mm -hmm. in Randberg. Mm -hmm. You were seemingly doing well for yourself. Mm -hmm. Nunale play ke patela three thousand rent a five actually yes girl five thousand rent uti patela rent a um you were selling your furniture recently mm. you no longer staying go rent back eh? you moved to Joburg can I call it a downgrade yeah with one k downgrade mm. what do you think happened between twenty twenty one to last corner manch. Okay, um, I recently just figured it out. Mm. A good team. When I went like Mang Figueva City and then Mang Buyekaya, I was so called dependent to my mother. A good team. She has to make decisions for me. Yeah, but with the first house that I built, my mom was the one who was advising me. A good bra. Malo na yung ibon ni malo yenza yung but like build a house. Yeah, but so that. If we are pale and manly, we are good. You have something to fall back on. Then, man, I like Josie. I had Uplem, who was encouraging, and who was a person I was using to make money. Mm. So after that, I had no one. After I broke up with Blem, I was like literally alone. Now I'm like alone in Joburg in like a city where like there's beast all over. I'm like alone. I don't know how to like do it with myself. Then. I got introduced to drugs after I was introduced to what the show called This Body Works For Me on Show Mix. Mm -hmm. It's streaming. Mm -hmm. So after the show opened, they only hired me because of what uh, Chris Excel said about my mother. 
So they wanted me to invite my mother to the show so that this content, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. I was like, okay, like this is the amount that you're paying. Oh, fuck, it's cool. And then I've never seen this amount before, like one hand, like me. Mm -hmm. So why not? I'm like, okay, cool. And then, boom, they took my mother from home and then Mamusala, like a can of worms opened. Some things that I thought would I buried mm -hmm. and I thought would see like they never existed, mm -hmm. but they actually did exist. When then pff, you understand. Mm -hmm. And then now I had to deal with all these things and it's cut to see one. Hence the show was like Italang July and then is Opelang August. Mm -hmm. So in that time you need to transition from the person that you were to a person that you're becoming or the person that was Obawien. So I had to like open all these wounds and stuff and stuff. And then I got introduced to drugs, mm -hmm. you understand? So drugs were like my comfort, you understand? So I would smoke and be like, be in heaven, forget about my problems, forget about everything that I was, that was going on with my life, forget about my traumas, forget about everything. Because I had everything, I had my apartment, I, there was nothing, I was being short, I was in So down the line, July, I mean, uh, August, September, October, November, December, January, I was still doing drugs. So there was this one time I was like, nah, fam, this is not you. You have so many friends now. Those friends are taking. They will take back again. One point two, three thousand, and we full no money back. But like, whenever you're in trouble, no one actually comes for through you. for you. Mm. So like, this is not your life. This is not you. You are too comfortable with your life. Go back home. We understand. So January, I had my card. I wanted to visit maybe just for a week. Man, I'm like, hmm. My house is like the same as in Joburg. It's fully furnished, it has everything. So why am I still living in Jobek? Because it's Jobek is like a I can think inside, you mm -hmm. understand? So why are you going to like recover and actually take your life from one step and step and step and step until you like you find your feet? Mm -hmm. So when I was like, mm, fuck it, I'm going to sell everything. I sell everything, I sell everything, I sell everything, I took the money. So we'll go to when you were selling. Okay. We'll go to when you go to like I'm, I'm done, I'm retired, I'm just like that. So I tell you, my lay, my tennis team, I'm like actually trying to build another house. So yeah, that was it. Mm -hmm. So it was just a transition from Josie to Makaya. To a Makaya. Mm -hmm. What did Chris say about your mother on Twitter? Mm -hmm. She he revealed a lot, mm -hmm. a lot. I, I don't want to comment on that because yeah. it's too much. Yeah. Mm. I don't want to like, engage in that anymore. But in as much as Orwena, you were using blame, don't you think that in a way he was a safe space for you? And in a way he was keeping you like, no, literally. Mm. Because it's like when your relationship ended, your business took a knock mm -hmm. as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's so true. Yeah. That's so true. I, he was my safe space. Yeah. He was. Actually, he was the person who was like, no, brother, don't do drugs. And, and maybe part of you spiraling was because of Ageko. Yeah. No, it was me wanting to be freed, wanting to do things by myself. Mm. And it led me no way. Mm. Yeah, mm. So, yes, Yena, yeah, from my mother, I fall into him, you understand? So after falling into him and I was like, mm, like you like my mother, you smothering me, I'm controller, fuck you, and then I, I go. When I go by myself and then the world is like, girl, yeah, trap again. and trap, and so mm. I was like, mm -mm. okay, now I understand, Guti, Katlaku Blem was like playing a role. Mm. Hence I was apologizing to him, Guti, bro, I understand what I did to you. And I'm sorry for what I did. Oh, yeah, I actually did apologize to him also. That's big of you, Samke. That's very big of it's you. It's growth, bro. It's growth, it's ne? Growth. What, is Colin Fega still your role model? <sighs> Yo, Yazin, I'm calling him Tanda, ne? I'm Tanda Kulu, and she's, she's an amazing person. Mm. Like, personality wise, she's amazing. But, I'm going to say I'm a <laughs> oh, decide the pipe. Too much. Jani. Because the house that she built for her mom mm. is like amazing. You understand? 
and to think for a second, Guti Samge, you've been in the game for like a year. Ukoli has been in the game for years. She's been making money. Mm -hmm. But like, you funa not figure to let level, yeah, okay. Kakulu, to a point to to chase a young kid You want to destroy yourself. Yeah. Just, yes, she is my role model, but like, there is taking inspiration and then there is sort of being envious. And I think we need to be careful of being exactly. envious. We can take inspiration. Mara singer, you know? That's what, Mina, okay. I was, I didn't understand the whole concept of like envious and inspiration. Yeah. I just thought, and then I was losing myself in a way, which I want to reach with Colin Fager's level. True. Whilst I'm like, dude, you've, you've been only been here for a couple a of year. months. Yeah. And then she's been in the game for a long time. So your money can never match hers. And she has like a lot of marketing. Mm -hmm. When or not, you're alone and you're lazy to do content. Mm -hmm. So who's gonna buy you content? Who's gonna make you 100k a month? Mm -hmm. You understand? So, mm -hmm. what's what's the plan now when this thing you would see a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do no longer works for you? And I mean, if umama ko uti a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do, why can't you think? Why did you think I'm asleep with a man to get what I need? Dude, for, for a second, I do not date. Ne? Mm. I didn't date before. Mm. I didn't have a chance of okay, um, actually dating a person because, hence, I was saying, I was always playing the victim in each and every time of a relationship. So basically, me having to be in a relationship means I have to compromise what I want and stuff and like, mm, and people are going to hurt me and stuff. I'm like, nah, fam, I'm not going to do that. So I'm not going to be going around sleeping with different people because I want sex. And I'm not going to commit to a relationship with one person because that's a relationship. That's your boyfriend. Mm. I'm not going to do that. And I'm not going to go around sleeping with people for free. But if I can't sleep with the person and then have money on top, that's a bonus because what I also love sex, I also have needs. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But it's not going to be free because what's so special about you? Mm -hmm. But now I'm no longer advocating for that because I think it's rubbing in a wrong way. So, Ufunu Puma Google Sex Industry, you no longer on OnlyFans, you no longer selling nudes. Mm -mm. I am, I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Actually, um, I'm a master now. I have property, I want to buy and all that. And you've got a, a brand as well? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, a wave department, mm. it's my boyfriend's brand. Okay. So he's, he said with the story when he was depressed and stuff. So he was, he had this thing, Uguti, he's, he's an artist. Yeah, but he knows how to design and stuff. So him channeling that depression into something that is yeah, but practical helped him get out of that situation. So him making a brand, it means who is actually depressed and nowhere else to go, you can actually get out of that situation because I came out of it. Yeah, but, mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm happy that you have another um positive role model, Embilaniako. Mm. Another person who was extremely positive towards you was U Umalen. Mm. Upumalen. Like Umalen really, really wanted you to win. But for some reason it was not clicking for you. You know, and I felt that you kept on emphasizing all the things that were bad, all the things that were not good, all the things that were making you do drugs. Mm -hmm do alcohol, sell yourself, not want to get better. You know, where is Malin right now? <laughs> ah, Mom Ganwam. Um, he's still there, he's still mm. in my life. But after I moved back home, we kind of part ways. Okay. Like, we never communicated that much. Mm. And now I have a boyfriend, so he can no longer visit in the house. But he's your gay best friend. He most. is, but like, we can never sleep in one bed, so we three, imagine. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah he's still my friend, and we're still going to talk, and I'm going to be there for him. Nje. Whenever he needs something. Because now I can see which he's doing good things. He's doing good for himself, so mm. I don't want to... Mm. change his space. Mm. Me, now I'm a person who just want to shy away from the media. I'm like... 
that's why I accepted your invite because I was like, okay, let me just come and explain myself, Uguti, how much have I grown as a person mm -hmm. and how intelligent I have become and how of a person like I do not want to be in the media anymore. I do not want to associate myself with the media. Mm -hmm. I do not want to be there to be seen. Yeah, but I just want to shy away and like live my life in peace. Yeah, mm -hmm. Gee, that's what I want. But at the same time, I want to help people. And I'm still going to advocate for sex work as sex work as a choice, not as a force mm. endeavor. Mm. So, Mauti, uh, you, you want to move away from the space. Does it mean that we're not going to see you on season two? Yeah, this body works for me. Ah, that bitch of a show. I'm not gonna be there, Shame. I'm not gonna be there. You're not so gonna be there. Basically, why are you not gonna be there? Because you were one of the big. Yeah, so thing is, name. You the big got, names there. I got the. Uh -huh, says who? So basically, I got the DM, Guti, like we need the interview, wara, 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 and stuff. And then I sent them and stuff. And then they took me. And then, Mati, on this day, come to an interview. Mang feel interview, I feel my pass a interview. Like, Bang near the contract that day and then but the next morning i need to sign in so far i'm like okay take your contract it's fine not knowing Guti, when you sign a contract there are things that you need to want to read and understand fully understand in order for what for you to move forward mm. cool season one wrong and it was how it was hell and we shoot we shoot one, it was draining me emotionally, financially, physically, everything it was draining me. Mm. Then, after the show, when Zangalani, um, they called me for a reunion. They said, we're going to pay you this certain amount. I'm like, first of all, I know my, my worth for this amount that you're paying me. For a reunion, I'm supposed to get triple, triple, trizzle, whatever for this reunion. Mm. First of all, I want the drizzle, I want the triple, I want the one, the money. Mm. Two, I want my rights. I want to have control of this and I want my royalties. But hey, Usho Maxi, Usho Maxi is not going to pay you. I'm a royalties, wara, wara, wara. So we're not going to accept you for season two. I'm like, okay, cool. I don't mind being poor. Mm -hmm. I don't mind paying an, an apartment in my for 4000 I still can't afford it, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to be damaged and be exploited for my content, for my life, for what I mean, I'm peanuts. I to take your money, keep it. I don't fucking care about it. I'm going to make my own guap because I know I've been making it. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I have plans. I have huge plans for my future. And I know what I need to make a mm -hmm. lot of money. Mm -hmm. Just that I'm just like, let me just relax because mm -hmm. I've been hustling my whole life. I need a break. Mm -hmm. I just want to relax and be like, let someone else take care of me for a change. Oh shit, it's getting me emotional, but it's cool. Yeah. yeah. So I just want to relax and like be like, cool. Mm -hmm. So mind you, I will never let other people buy me, but drive my BMW whilst me now I'm suffering in the streets. And you're the talent. And I'm the talent. Mm -hmm. I'm the one with content, but I do not have money. When are you driving a BMW and you actually, we are Chinese on your status, so you got with your money. I, I paid for this mm -hmm. whilst me now I'm suffering in the streets. I'm like, no, fam, I'd rather be poor. Take your fame, take your money. I don't give a shit. Why did you initially agree? Did you? Why did you sign to be on? Because I'm sure we all have an end goal. I want to be famous. I want to push my clothing line. I want to push you. Dude, I saw the money. I just saw the money. I said, okay. But but on reality shows, uh, weekly, monthly, once off. No, it's just once off. And Leanna, it was so nani to a point to go to Masesi Tabanga. Because this show is like streaming and it's being like making numbers and it's number one on show max. But the amount that they paid us. You feel robbed? I, I'm still like, I still feel robbed to this day because when initially when I was signing, I was signing to Honey TV. But mm. boom, I'm signing the contract. I mean, not a contract, I contract, was signing to Honey TV. Mm. Then boom. The TV show, show is no longer on Honey TV, is now or on Show Max. Max. And I'm like, Phew. after the whole season, they look shorter. Send it to Australia after. 
ukuthi isho wayisekho ukuba kuHoney TV say who show makes because I, 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 I didn't mind like settling for that amount for Honey TV because I know Honey TV is like a small um, TV, TV channel, channel. Mm. No, 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 no one's going to mind that mm. but now you're taking it to a bigger platform and you're playing this umbrella word you say it's just multi-choice multi-choice is like what, 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 what so they have the rights I'm like okay if I have rights give me my rights for my reunion give me my royalties for the reunion give me my rights for season 2 give me my royalties for season 2 because Come shove ban, shove ban ban. Push, push and shove. shove. Yes. Nizo yes. itata ne show ni hamise America. Mina will I be paid? No. Nizo itata ni sani se Zimbabwe. Will I be paid? No. Izo ya eh Mozambique or Z or what, what Nigeria. Will I be paid? No. I got paid that amount and I'm still suffering till this day. Mm. Nah, dude. Okay, fine. You all robbed me for season one, and I learned from it. It's cool, but I, you will never rob me like twice, once, twice, between twice shy. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> never again. I'm not desperate for fame. I'm not desperate for followers. I mean, uh, the reason why people buy my content, they see me, not the Matrix me. Mm -hmm. You understand? They see the true Sam game mm -hmm. because I'm the Munang, my personality also. I have the social media Sam game and I have the Sam game Sam game. The real you. The Sam game that people don't want to see. Mm -hmm. The people that finally but all the angst bends in jan before they can actually understand. Oh shit, that's you. You understand? Because we see you as this social media bubbly person, but like no, I'm very deep when it when it comes to the real Sam game. Yes, the Matrix Samke is there, but like, I'm Samke Samke, you understand? Who's the Matrix Samke, the social media one or the real one? The Matrix Samke is the person who's just hustling, it's the OnlyFans Samke. Okay. And then the real Samke is me, that's me, the one that doesn't wear makeup, doesn't wear even, doesn't even have, like, I'm a class sleeper. The village girl. I'm the village girl, yeah. Yeah, the intelligent, because I consider myself as intelligent. You are, and you're very outspoken, some gay. Maybe I should get my own podcast. <laughs> no, yeah, honestly, some gay, honestly. I it, buy you, I mean, I can, no, that's what I was saying, but my, my dreams is just me and my house, because I, this thing of satisfying my, my satanic mind, mm. my ego mind. So, man, so you have a good relationship, you are not uh, being... Leave it on. I want a pussy heist. Hey! 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 So, Samke, how's that tell you about this thing that you, you, you're doing, the sex work? What is going to be your day-to-day -day life or what is your day-to-day -day life? Ngoku. Okay, um, I want to open an agency. Yeah. For only fans. Okay. But only fans to people are for and not abandon who was forced to go to I mean I was going to varsity, there's no work. Okay. I just want someone who just wants to work and be like, I love sex for sex. Mm. And if there's money on top of it, so why not? Okay. Yeah, so that's the that, that's the production that I wanna open. And I wanna build a house since I was saying. And there is um, infused gummy bears that I wanna sell. Infused with, with what? Whatever ends up infused and I Okay. Born, I still I'm still checking out the ingredients. Okay. And then we're still gonna push baby's brand mm. and you know, oh home, back home. I wanna I wanna I wanna empower like the youth in my in my hood because of like drugs, abuse. People they know I wanna go to like Ama or like big cities because mm. They just feel good. Smang se makaya. I smoke drugs and then miss lilin lini and then okay, I'm just totally good. I understand. So I wanna empower that. I wanna empower those young people. Good to bra. When you go out outside, you can actually hustle. I did hustle and I made something for myself. So why not? And I wanna advocate for sex work the positivity behind sex work because now I feel like everyone is just milking it, milking it, milking it. What's the positive side of sex work? The positive side about sex work is you giving enough information and full information about sex work. Ugutu, when you use your sexual organs, actually your brain is going to get fog. You're going to have memory loss. 
you're going to be what, 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 what. So I want to educate people who take a Everything has to balance and to an chakras. You need to balance all your energy points in your body in order for your brain to function very well. So now when you're a sex worker and you're just using sex work to just have exp- sex, have sex you're not balancing your brain, you're not balancing your mouth, you're not balancing your heart, you're just doing it. And actually um, advocate for I'm a soul ties, I'm a spirituality when it comes to sex. It's dangerous when you're just going in for just just because I want money. People do rituals with these things. And sex is very dangerous because actually there is an exchange of energies well so the pevmula pays well, we understand. So that's why I'm shy I'm away from like sex work. I'm like, mm, mm, when I we were doing rituals or there's something that is not on our way, mm-hmm. but because I have mad I want money, mm-hmm. now I have to like tolerate that shit. Mm-hmm. You understand? So I wanna educate people about that. I wanna educate people about medicine like you need to take care of your health you need to be like you need to understand your health it's okay when you're a sex worker you need to have i'm a prep you need to have a backup plan each and every time you understand because more and more girls are being exposed to this work because of people like us yeah. i still i am still guilty for it yeah i'm guilty yeah. for not for not clarifying the knowledge the truth behind it because I was what? I was chasing the money. Oh, I was. I mean, I'm making 10,000, I'm making 20,000 on OnlyFans, but like, what are the negativity? At what cost? At what cost? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So now that I know and I understand the truth behind it, I want to stop that. Yeah. Just go to school. Just go to school, get a degree, get a job. Because um, that's what I've, I've noticed about people is that you want to go to varsity and then after varsity you get a degree and then you study like higher so uzibukele umama wakho uzibukele baba wakho uyijele ukuthi umsebenzi uzoqhamuka nje out of the sky uzothi gqugu no firstly you need to be patient you need to go out there and, exp- and expose yourself you need to understand ukuthi fanele ube go job back you need to be in pretoria you need to be somewhere like where like there's people where you can actually meet with them and then get a job so ma uzohlala ekhaya when after varsity uqanti umsebenzi uzothola kanjani hence they're screaming hi hi unemployment now call centers are here you can actually meet someone also related to what to your dream job that you actually applied for mm. so you can never get a job with uzohlala ekhaya and ma uze job back you can actually do as in izinto ezinqanjana zokuhasilisha to actually make money, yeah. you understand? So now people just wanna be rich, they just wanna Instagram, they just wanna TikTok, they just wanna be there and be like, yeah, I'm me, I'm this person, and I'm in Bugain, and I'm gonna have money. At what cost, bruh? Yeah, Selling course. yourself for what? Yeah. For fame, for fame and fortune, which is not the truth. Because when you meet a person on Instagram right now and actually understand their life, are you going to like understand that life are you going to live it or you just subawelling because it's there in online people need to wake up that's it what what was your drug of choice it was ecstasy but i depression i been using upon my saying because you get very happy and then like so, so I, yeah. You are depressed because like emotions have to balance and yeah. you be like this high, yeah. happy and then Aksasa the Yeah. Bo. Yeah. Yeah, and cocaine. Cocaine is nice. And cocaine. Yeah. But uh, cocaine is very expensive. You know, six hundred bucks a bag a day. Yeah. Hence my money from that show we believe Pili Laranja. So that's where it went. Mm. Sure. And I had friends and I cut less away. So we've been like spending about my three K a day. And how did you come clean? How did you get out of the drugs? I told myself, I would say, no, this is not me. Mm. And I don't know, man, like, let me just say, let me just say, it's Jesus or God. Jesus is Lord. Mm. I was like, no, fam, okay, fine. You've, you've reached your heart in a rock place. It's cool now, but like, you can actually get out of it. Mm. And then, man, if we are close to God, if we are kuzuga, which means our zanga uzu hambi, no mazanga wins in uzu. So basically, before you can actually step into a stone, you actually 
got up and then went and then went and went and went. So basically you did something in order for you to learn. Mm. Because you were never going to understand that some drugs are not good for you if you didn't do them. And some drugs are associated with what? Childhood trauma. They are a comfort to us. Because if you were neglected as a child mm. or you were never given enough love, so when you actually try drugs, you are what? You are comfortable. You do not have a care in the world. You just feel loved. Yeah, but in you are enough in that world. Hence, drugs are nice. But it can at what cost? Because I know for a fact that there are demonic spirits out there that are using drugs to actually gain a Because I was using Wicca. You know Wicca, witchcraft. Mm -hmm. I was using witchcraft in Aumbekfunuktuala. Okay. Because like I, because I thought which I am gonna have four million because in my four head, million what rent? Yeah, in my head I was so delusional to a point which I'm crazy now. I think we could make a lot or now I'm gonna win it mm. because I feel like each and every time in the world, in order to make my mark, I need to have money. And then when I got out of that situation, I was like, no, nah, fam, you do not need money to be loved. Mm. There are people who love you without money. Mm. There are people who accept you without money. There are people who's gonna accept you without fame, mm. without in, without you being you. So you being you is enough. Mm. Just stick to that. Abantu ba zobe mpilo ni akubwa zobe mpilo ni akubwa. Just not money. Mm. Because now we are worshiping money to a point to it runs our mind. Yeah, you are constantly being bullied online mm. about your looks, and now recently. Mm. Um, they were on you, new weight loss, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, which is evident. Mm -hmm. some gay, um, but the thing is, Bonavari, it's mm -hmm. HIV, mm -hmm. industry, <laughs> you understand? I saw that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, would you care to explain what, what the change is? Was it a lifestyle? Is it a diet? Are you sick? Is it stress? Is it. Mm -hmm. It is. Kona this drug is this one a crystal meth. Mm. So a lot of people who's gonna like tell you good when you chomau chai e crystal meth uzo big ya. Okay. Uzo leave you gonna be so skinny mm. because e adana yakshaya je because ma also ma so family don't even feel like eating. He be like hmm. even ugu la nama e no minte inte sweet no manga be you just je ya bo so. Mm. There are super, super skinny. Mm. So, I mean, I, was, I lost weight because of what? Of crystal meth. Mm. And diet change game. Like, it's the same thing as spirituality and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I was like eating fruits and my nuts and stuff. Like, I was actually this Bambela man. Because now it was the only thing I've been getting in Because my old rule, the clung, I was like, I was like, I was like, Yes, in the mm. So HIV, I'm not HIV. I will never be HIV. I saw that. Yeah, but I test regularly. Yeah. Yeah, but now and footy game. I get people minangi as girl on the because I know for a fact that when you have sex, you actually gain calories in your body mm. because sperm has calories. So have you seen? Um, people who are married to good how fat they are because they have sex every day. Mm -hmm. You understand? So actually, more heavy sex, you're gonna gain weight. So I'm not. So now that you're in a renewed relationship, we are more now good to start in a social and are you still uh, going to therapy? How's your road to healing going? Um. Because a lot of people were telling you to get help, get help. Get like, help. Hey, victim, Get help. You can never listen to anyone. Yeah. But now I feel like I've conquered like eighty percent of my problems. Mm. The only percentage that is left is me accepting myself and loving myself mm. enough to let my boyfriend love me back and let other people to love me back, let my family love me back. Mm. So I feel like I need to understand that, how to love myself, how to, how to accept myself, mm. how to let go of the guilt and shame mm. of everything that I have done in order for me to move on. Because mm. I know for a fact, when you are human, you were sent to earth to like ascend, 
Yabo. So if there is no ascension, which means you're doing something wrong. Mm. If you're not growing and evol like evolving as a person, you're doing something wrong. Mm. So basically, you're just stuck in this matrix, this 3D, like this th third dimension. You're supposed to like ascend to like by a higher dimension, like 5D and stuff, mm. and be like like higher consciousness so that you begin closer be to God. Yeah. So if you're still stuck here, how are you going to be closer to God? Yeah. Hi, Sam Kekia Woodrum, and how are you using your 200, almost 300k followers on Twitter now for good? Or to capitalize on them? That's the thing, I'm no longer chasing money. Okay. I have enough money to sustain me mm. this time. Hence, I was saying, Guti, I'm still resting. Once eating new, in team, be a color, then that's when I will start hustling again and have now, which okay, this is forever. Mm -hmm. So for my Twitter followers, I feel like they see me for me. They do not see me as a person who has to be bullied. They see me as this spirit, free spirited person who just has this so much light to her, Uguti. Shit, when we see her, I actually relate to her, Yabu. So if she can, be like a phoenix whenever you break her down she, she always rises. comes she rises out from ashes so what's stopping me mm -hmm. so i try and make like my messages loud like positive messages even if you come to my twitter and like where you are bullying me i always respond with positivity because i know for a fact people are just hurt people they are hurt so if you are a hurt person you will hurt other people back mm -hmm. because you just want in a reassurance good time now you are better than the other person. Mm -hmm. So me I'll just respond with ne like positivity. I will never respond with negativity. Yeah, mm -hmm. So I'm better. That's good. You're in a better place. I you am. look better, you sound better. I am so happy for you, yes. I think I'm content. Um I had no idea what was going to happen, Mouse mm -hmm. but I had an idea of who you were, mm -hmm. and I am so happy that I dropped all of that as soon as I started talking to you, and I allowed myself to get to experience who you are becoming and who you are right now. Mm -hmm. Your future is very bright, Samke. You just need to go out there and grab it with both hands. You've got 100% capacity. It's in you, you know, and the same way you're going to do it again. I, I believe in you mm -hmm. and I am rooting for you. Thank you so much. Do you have any parting words? Um, thank you so much for allowing me it's a to pleasure, actually shave my side and be truthful and be open and fuck. I'm, mm. <laughs> Some thank you make so up much. What thank, you. thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And I kudos for you and be successful brah thank you and now i'm gonna push you every day shame i'm gonna support you because brah you are opening a door for us a door that we we really thought would it was closed yeah bro. so thank you for so much for your platform bro. thank you thank Sam you. <laughs>